that um, bishop to e4 or queen to b6 were both very good moves actually. But I think it was, uh, I mean, there was only, there's only really two good moves in the position. That was bishop to e4 and queen to b6. So perhaps maybe that was why, you know, there's a great probability that in this particular game that bishop to e4 was, you know, provident. But um, Kasparov was rather hoping that the, the computer would play queen to b6, which is a little bit more materialistic. We see it attacks the bishop, it attacks pawn b5, and white will be able to actually win a pawn in this position. But um, bishop e4 is more solid. It prevents black from kind of getting a counterattack and just getting access. We can see that black's kind of blocked up here, and all the initiative and momentum is on the queen side. White is controlling the queen side. Um, so I'll be doing a separate video just to show you some interesting lines, or the most accurate lines in this position with both continuations, both looking at bishop to e4 and queen to b5. But in the game, uh, deep blue played bishop to e4. Now we see a trade of rooks. Um, I haven't analysed the last part of the game so much, so I'm going to go over that just briefly. Um, so we can see white is attempting to you know, penetrate on the queen side. Okay, and then we see rook check, so can't capture the queen because of check. Uh, king moves. And um, okay, so we see the queen come across. Now, uh, black doesn't want to trade queens. Um, this wouldn't be good for black, but it's pretty much forced after white's continuing move. But he did find Kasparov did find a slightly better way, which interestingly led to a draw, which he didn't recognize at the time uh, because of the sort of controversy and emotional upset that was caused due to the game. Um, so Kasparov offering to trade the queens this way with queen b6 check. Um, so now we see king f1 and I think originally it was suggested that this was a mistake with king to f1, the king should have played to a square where it was um, just a little bit more protected because in the future moves it led to drawn position as we'll see. So king to f1 uh, trading the rook and then the final move which is rook to a6 and we can see that obviously white has, has effectively got a battery here and if the queen, if the black queen moves away then the bishop will be captured so all these variations are going to be winning for um, white so really white, uh, black is kind of forced to capture and exchange queens this position but interestingly what was overlooked here is that there is a possibility of this this actual final position is a draw because it turns out that white doesn't have enough time to uh, checkmate the black king when I mean there's other variations of this game showing exactly how that happens but essentially most of the lines are looking where the queen can sort of come down the game just make use of all these dark squares okay so um, there are some other videos on YouTube if you want to watch out about that Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for that for now, um, and I'll be analysing some further lines and more specific parts of this game a bit later. So I hope you've enjoyed this series, the first part of the series, um, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.